Hello again, everyone. Happy New Year. Uh, I want to do one last video before the end of the year here. And uh, today we're going to talk about saving out uh, Vimex to your computer, to your local device um, in ARCHICAD 20. This has changed quite a bit. If you're familiar with previous versions of ARCHICAD, you know that uh, it used to just be a file and save as uh, to export the Vimex format. Uh, now it's a little bit more complicated, but it also has a lot more options in terms of what you can export out uh, a little bit easier anyway. Uh, so the easiest way to do this is to actually use the publisher. Uh, and to set that up, we want to start with the view map. Um, so I have, for example, in this particular project, I have uh, four different uh, potential roof designs for this remodel project that I'm helping out on. Um, and uh, you can see there, there are different models, different model options, uh, and basically they're just different zooms and view settings. Uh, so each one of these 3D windows has its own unique uh, view uh, settings, and those can include things like the sun shadows, um, uh, angle of the camera, uh, layer combination. Uh, in this case, it's a remodel, so I could even have uh, unique renovation filters for each of these. Um, so each of these is in the view map. Now if I bring up the organizer here, uh, I can then bring those uh, from the view map in the left hand column to the publisher. I have a publisher um, for Vimex and I have uh, this export to Vimex in my template automatically links to the Vimex export. Um, so these are just views. They could also be camera paths uh, in which case I would be given the option uh, to under, uh, there would be further options here to uh, include cameras. Um, you can also include global illumination, but a fair warning is that for a standard model that takes anywhere from one to six hours to uh, export that file. Um, so we're not going to run through that today. Um, but I do want to show you uh, what it takes to get one of these options out to a BIMX file on your desktop. Um, so you, uh, you have the views on the left-hand column. Those are either brought in as a shortcut or drag and drop them over or however you get them to your publisher set. Uh, make sure the publishing options are set to upload hypermodel. Um, you can sign in if you have a Graphisoft ID and that can upload it uh, directly uh, to the cloud. Um, you can give the file a name here um, and click save local copy. That's really the critical thing here. If you want the copy on your desktop um, to email out or send to other devices or uh, any, any way outside of sharing it uh, through, uh, through the BIMX hypermodel, um, you need to save a local copy. So you just browse for the location and save that location. Uh, in this case, it's a folder on my desktop. And then I'm going to say OK. In this case, I'll actually, because this is already saved out, just put a copy on my desktop. Um, say OK. And uh, I'm going to publish just option one in this case. So selected items. If you publish multiple options, uh, they tend to combine in a single BIMX um, file that you can then choose which uh, particular view you're going to open up, which is actually also a nice option, but it makes the BIMX file a little bit larger. So in this case, I'm going to save out this one option and just hit, click Publish, um, you're going to get a couple of warnings pop up here. Basically, it's saying because I'm not logged in, it couldn't find my ID. That's fine. I can just say Close, and I can exit out of this. Um, and then you're going to get the typical publisher window pop up. And uh, this is a pretty small model, so it'll probably only take about 30 seconds or so to save out. But it's going to save out um, the 3D data. Uh, and any information attached to that 3D data. If I had also included any PDFs or anything else to be part of the BIMX Pro document, uh, it would also save out as part of that. So you can see now I have a full BIMX package of 11 megabytes, well within the emailing limits. So it's a perfect file just to send to the client. Um, and if you want to give instructions on how to upload um, that to their device, uh, after you email it out, or if you want to email it to your device, uh, there is a page on the BIM or sorry on the Graphsoft Help Center here, uh, and it gives you several different options on uploading from your computer to uh, to a mobile device, an iPad or tablet or phone or whatever you're viewing it on, uh, outside of a desktop or laptop. Uh, my preferred method is download using uh, one of the cloud models. Um, I usually use just Google Drive. Um, save it to Google Drive and then go to my iPhone and upload it from there. 
um, or if you have the ID uh, to log in, if you have uploaded it uh, directly from the publisher in ARCHICAD, um, you can just access it directly through the device, uh, through the, the BIMX app on your device. Uh, so I hope this helped out uh, a little bit on understanding how BIMX and saving out a basic BIMX file to your desktop has changed from 19 to 20.